Well, folks, it seems that we have a comment from an American patriot who felt the need to correct my pronunciation of Zakata. Apparently, I should have said Zakata. Cute, right? While I appreciate the unsolicited phonetic tutorial, let's get one thing straight. Accents and dialects vary, my dear. Science is gonna help us explain this. You see, when someone moves to another country, like me, an American living in Australia, they often undergo what's called a dialect adaptation. What does that mean? It means my speech is evolving, babe. And why is that? It's because language is a social tool and humans are wired to fit in wherever they go. So I'm not just speaking English. I'm speaking Australian English. In Australia, I now hop on a lift, not an elevator. I grab my thongs before I head to the servo for petrol, not gas. And that annoying insect that was buzzing in the bush, yeah, that is still a zakata to me. It's just cicada with an Aussie twist. Same bug, new vibe. Now there's something also called phonetic drift. It's the natural way our vowel and consonant sounds adjust to match local speech patterns. So if I sound a little less Virginian and just a little more Aussie, that's because my vocal cords are just making new friends. Aren't humans just adorable? So to my American patriot, maybe next time before you police someone's pronunciation on the internet, remember that English is global. There are no borders here. There are only dialects, accents, and endless ways to say the same thing. And also, fun fact, correcting people on the internet doesn't make you smarter, but it does boost my engagement, so thanks for that at least.